Hey, it's Rob from Wheelworks Bike Shop in Dublin. We have a speed concept to have a look at an SLR 9 E tap. So that's Ram Red. Uh, and I don't know what this is. There's about five speed concepts outside to be unboxed. I was away for a couple of weeks and all the deliveries came in while I was gone. So there was a big queue of bikes to be built. Oh, holy shit. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I sort of thought it might have been something else. That's very cool. Okay. God, I wasn't expecting that one at all. We have uh, we have some of the Olympic team paint schemes coming in. The sort of metallic, chromey, lavender ones. We just unboxed it at Madonna a minute ago. And uh, I thought this might have been the speed concept version of it because I think we got that in the small as well. And this is a small, but it's not. So this is a radioactive pink to purple fade with a pink decal. SRAM red. This is a uh, loud. We have a Madone in stock in that, or we certainly had, it could be gone now. A uh, Gen 7 Madone, which is very cool. Um, so, what we have uh, SLR9 is SRAM red. So, you've got a power meter, wireless shifting, uh, double ring on the front. 12 gears on the back. The Project One Speed Concepts come with seat post painted to match the frame and the base bar painted to match the frame. So that you don't get that in the stock colours. The stock colours come with a black handlebar and a black seat. Uh, so the Project One have the uh, fuller co full colour coding all the way through, which is very cool. Oops. Losing bits of packaging. Uh, there's three different base bars. If you've been around here before for a Speed Concepts unboxing, you know that. There's a, well, there's actually four. There's a the Speed Concept TT base bar, which is UCI legal. Um, and then there's the Troy base bar, which comes in three different variants. There's a, a low rise, mid-rise and a high-rise. This is the mid-rise, which would be the most popular. Um, the high-rise looks really cool because you've got a really exaggerated rise on it, uh, but the mid-rise gives you a slightly higher hand position, so it's not as aggressive on the front. Um, if you need to take a break from the tri-bars in a long-distance race and you need a bit of recovery from that aggressive position. Um, the, the bull horns can be cut to length. They're marked here to make sure you get it and it also says to be cut by a professional so don't, don't do this at home uh, your tri bars mount on here uh, there's a gorgeous sort of purpley lavendery sparkle through the pink the radioactive pink I don't know if that's showing up there for you it's really nice anyway that's that we'll let you have a look at the color and then we'll get it into the workshop going to keep this one pretty quick because they're very busy in the shop so I don't want to keep Dave out here too long. We'll just get the colour out, let you have a look at it and then we'll let him go in. We've got pink to purple fade pink decals on the logo, lighter pink decal on the logo, and the same fade on the fork. So I'm going to get this one into the workshop, we'll get it boxed up and built and we'll do a, a more thorough run through. I just want to get another one out of the box and let you have a look at it. So it's Rob from Wheelworks Bike Shops in uh, Dublin and various places around Ireland.